Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about transparent image backgrounds. You probably know them as PNGs. This has come up so many times when it comes to the overlays, the subscribe button, you know, the fake PNG things. We're gonna go through all of it. Let's dive into it starting right now. Let's start with fake PNGs. Let's go to Google, type in subscribe PNG. So right away, you're gonna see a whole bunch. We're gonna sort these by images. We're gonna go click on a few. And here's a few things right here. This first checkerboard background, it seems surprisingly large. It just doesn't seem right. So I'm gonna go, first of all, go look at the title of it. If it ends in JPG or JPEG, it is not going to be transparent. It is going to maintain that checkerboard background. So first of all, that's one of your first clues. Look at that. So I'm gonna go ahead and download it too so you guys can see it later here and then I'm gonna go ahead and save it to my computer. The second indicator that this is gonna be kind of a wonky one is if you open it up and you still see that checkerboard background, when you look at some of the PNGs, it's almost gonna look like it has a black background because it is transparent, so there's nothing there. And so if you see the checkerboard, it's kind of one of those like weird, what is that? So I'm gonna do another one. This one, the checkerboard actually seems too small. And this is just a weird nuance. When you see them side by side, I'm gonna download this one too. And also we're gonna look at the extension, it's PNG, so we think we're on the right track, right? So we're gonna download it. I'm gonna put it up side by side by the other one. And then you're gonna see what I mean by the checkerboard being different sizes. This one is too small, the other one is too large. And so it's kind of like Goldilocks, we're looking for the one that is just right, that's actually honestly a PNG with a transparent background. But since I have both of these images downloaded, let me show you what it looks like when you go into iMovie or any of your video editing projects. So I'm gonna bring both of these images over into iMovie and open that up. And what do you know, the last project I was working on was the subscribe button. If you haven't seen that video yet, I will link it up in the cards, go check it out. Now I'm gonna go grab those two images that we were just talking about, but let me clear out some of these old ones first here. Okay, once I drag both of these images down onto the timeline, it does need to be on top of your video, you're gonna see that you still see the checkerboard the entire time, right? And you're like, huh, that doesn't exactly seem right, and we're gonna get into that as well. And so one thing that you would usually need to apply is going to be like that picture in picture, or you can see up in the other one, if it was green, then you would apply that green blue screen. I'm going to download one more image. This one does seem to be correct. Um, and I'm going to download one more as well to show as an example. When we go to download it, you can check the extension at the end. It is going to be a PNG. So that's clue one. We're on the right track. The second thing is when you download it, when I said before, you wouldn't really see that checkerboard. You should see a black. This is what happens when you have a correct PNG. So when you open it up and you find it, you see how you don't see that checkerboard. It's like black. That's all you see is the actual subscribe button. So I'm gonna import this one, and then I also want you to pay attention to what it looks like up in the media area. So you can see the one that we just brought in, it looks like it has a black background, but it's because it's transparent. The other two, you can see that checkerboard, one that's too small, one that's too big. That's another visual indicator that you have the incorrect or correct type of PNG file. Are there people out there that download these images and think that they have a truly transparent background? Yes, absolutely. Then they get frustrated when it doesn't work. And I'm just trying to explain and help you see why that is. So when you apply a PNG to a picture in picture, now you can see the subscribe button and it doesn't have the checkerboard background, right? And again, look down in the timeline and you see those images side by side. You see that the one that is transparent looks like it has a black background while the other two still maintain like a white or checkerboard type of look and that's how you know that you are not using the right type of file. So you may be thinking, okay, that's well all and good, but now I don't want to mess with all that. I want to make my own transparent background image. Okay, let's do that. So let's say you are a beauty guru and you're going to talk about a makeup item in your video. All right. So I'm going to go to the Sephora website. I am going to pick a brand Wander Beauty. I like their foundation. I'm going to pick one here. I'm going to bring it up so that I have an image of it. And then I'm going to simply do a screenshot, basically a selective screenshot and uh, take that photo. And then you're going to see that it's going to have a white background, right? Because it's not going to be transparent. It's going to be a capture from the screen, which is going to have a white background. So here is the image. When I bring it up, we're going to go to a website. It's free. It's called remove.bg. You can take that same image that you just took, that screenshot, you can put it in there. It will use AI to try and figure out what is in it, and it's going to give you a transparent image. How cool is that? You just download it. So you can see the difference. The image that looks black with background, right? You don't see any checkerboard. And then you see the checkerboard here in the window, and then you see what the screen looks like when it was captured and white. So I'm gonna bring all of these into iMovie so you can see them as well. 
So again, when you're looking in the media library of the images side by side, you're going to see the image that was downloaded from the remove.bg website and you see it's like almost black in the background and that's because it is transparent and you see the screenshot that I took where it looks like it has a white background. So if we drag both of these images down onto the timeline and you're going to see right the ugly white background which is fine but it's not going to take your video to the next level to have that transparency. So here we go when we go back to it and do a picture in picture like you would do so you can resize it right you see a whole bunch of white on the background go to the one that is transparent and has been downloaded from remove.bg we're going to do picture in picture and again it is now like a transparent background you can kind of see through where all of the white is and you can resize as needed and you can definitely see the difference between the transparent background and the white background and why you would want to choose one over the other if you don't want to use remove bg you also have photoshop and gimp and here's an example i'm going to go ahead and fire up pick monkey because this is a new feature they launched fairly recently that i absolutely love so i'm going to go over to their website and i am going to bring in that same image from the desktop screen capture that i had so i'm going to edit a photo bring in that one and then what you have to do is you have to select it as a layer convert it to a layer and then on that layer you can hit remove background and it will auto magically remove the background for you giving you a transparent background and then you can download that image just like you did from remove.bg so if I bring that image into iMovie you can see where it looks exactly the same where it looks like it has like that black background and that is maintaining its transparency and you can see here there's no checkerboard effect and if you see it in the media library it looks exactly as the same from remove.bg and that's how you know it's transparent drag it down onto the timeline again it's going to be black until you hit that um, crop icon and you hit that picture in picture and then go ahead and move it into a place where you're going to be able to see it so there is another way that you can do it you can also use an app on your phone called background erase and that's really great I have a different tutorial on how to remove a background as well um, if you don't want to do the auto magic one in PicMonkey there's a different tutorial for that I will show you that as well let's move on to that fake PNG with the too big checkerboard so here's another option that you can do if you know you really just want to make it work with what you got Remember, we knew this one was fake. The checkerboard was too big. It was a JPEG ending. It's not transparent, all right? So, and when you go to picture in picture, you still see checkerboard and you're like, what the heck did I do wrong? Nothing, they just labeled it wrong and it's not your fault. So what you do, select the media item from your library and then select the crop button. And from there, you're gonna be able to uh, crop down the sides. You may not be able to make this perfect. You may, you know, go into the red a little bit. You may still have some white showing. You know what, it's okay. At the end of the day, you're gonna get the job done. So go ahead and speed, I'm gonna speed through this. Just make sure your cuts are fairly even as best you can. You could also do this before you bring it into iMovie and crop it in some sort of editor and then bring the cropped image into iMovie. Once you apply that crop, you're gonna see it take out all of that extra checkerboard area. It's gonna look kind of like a transparent PNG almost, except for those white corners, right? So then what you can do is drag that item down onto your timeline, replace that one with the fake checkerboard. You'll apply the picture in picture and it may not be absolutely perfect, like I said, but it will get the job done. So this one is obviously way too large right now. After you apply the picture in picture, you're gonna size it down so it fits into the area that you need. And there you go. That's another way to also work with a PNG that has a fake background. So I hope this gives you some ideas and things to try and ways to work it out because it is honestly one of the most commonly asked questions that I get on any of my videos, especially around the subscribe button and the animations. So let me know if that helps and thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I put out a new video every week. I can't wait to hang out with you guys again. I'll see you very soon. Bye!